DCS World F16 AGM 154 addition to the game. An addition to the F16 Viper. Let's take a look. Let's go to the loadout screen. All right, we're going to load on pylons three and seven. Air ground. AGM 154 Alpha. And this is with a BRU-57 bomb rack that will let you hold two. So we'll go with that. And then on pylon seven, air ground. AGM-154 Alpha with BRU-57 pylon that will let you carry the twin loadout. And there it is. Got four. Two on pylons, three and seven. Now the Alpha model is cluster munitions. And the 154 is essentially a glide bomb with a very uh, sophisticated navigation system. It'll get you right on target. And let's go into target mode. For this uh, initial use, we're gonna use uh, waypoint bombing. So let's take a look at our targets and the waypoints. Um, this is not going to be a milk run. Our target, our real threats, S-300 missile system and a point defense, uh, short range, shore ad. And we're going to be using as target waypoint two, set at ground altitude. Um, these are just, just some static vehicles is target waypoint three. So waypoints two and three at ground level. That's gonna be our target for the day. Our targets are threats. We're gonna see how well we can do. So let's get underway. All right, we're at steer point one. We're gonna go to air to ground. And that's going to bring up our 154 page. And to align them, we just have to power on. And we're going to get a ready uh, signal almost immediately. Let's go to our left MFD. bring up our TGP and we're going to go to auto and let's go to waypoint number two that's our target waypoint and right away we're going to see our steering line and we're going to bring it to the left. And we're going to center our aircraft heading on the target waypoint at square box. Let's bring up our speed. And this is why we've got to take those additional fuel tanks. All right, there we go. All right, let's bring up our HSI. And we're getting really cl close to the uh, missile launch threat area. 
we're going to try to maintain uh, 30,000 feet or higher. And we're all lined up. This is our range carrot and this E bracket here. This is our in range area right here. This carrot will drop as we get closer to the target. Now the target is lethal. It will shoot at us. So we want to make sure we have plenty of altitude so we can drop at 70 miles, 60 to 70 miles out. Just at the exterior of the missile threat ring. The yellow circle will turn red when we've passed it. Let's get back up to 40. See our range carrot is just about to the E bracket. The drop cue is coming down. We're in range. One out. Let's switch targets. Two out. All right, let's go back to target waypoint two. Three out. And let's go back to waypoint target three. All weapons are out. All right, we're going to turn away. Drop an altitude a little bit to generate some speed. Bank hard right. Let's take a look. Don't see any contrails. Other than our own. All right, let's put her in autopilot. Let's take a look at our weapons. A 
we can make out a pair of them. Here we go. We've got three in view here. Let's track their progress. We're getting very close to the target area. And there's those maneuvers I was talking about. Air defense missiles off. One just lost command guidance. Detonation. Right on target. That was pretty impressive. Well, guys, I hope you liked that uh, effect. The addition to the uh, arsenal of the F-16 Viper. It's a good one. Altitude. Altitude. It's going to really add a new capability to this aircraft. A lot of fun. And look at that. Get delayed uh, destruction reports. Wow. And you can see the uh, point air defense system try to shoot uh, the missiles out of the sky, and it just didn't happen. But we'll check the score. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, the event would be a hit. It's going to be all AGM 154s. Everything was hit. Every target was hit. That's amazing. Well, guys, I hope you get a chance to try out the AGM 154 Alpha. It sure was a lot of fun to fly this mission. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you like this channel. And we'll see you up again soon.